Main Man Made Man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So word on the curb is that Tyson Fury, the heavyweight lineal champion is what they call him. He's basically saying he wants a third fight this year in the UK. And, you know, that's what he's going to do after this uh, Otto Wallen fight that he has coming up in September. This is according to Tyson Fury. He's a he gave an interview to BT Sports and he put this out there and BT Sports has also shared this on their Twitter page. And they got Tyson Fury saying, and I quote, I want to fight back in England in December. I'll get one in England because my uncle Frank will make that happen. I'm allowed in my contract to have a fight in England at Tyson Fury says he'll fight in the UK in December after he beats Otto Wallen. So he wants to fight in the UK in December of this year after the Otto Wallen fight in September. So anytime a fighter is looking to come back that fast, September, October, November, and then December, that's in today's boxing. This ain't 1950s. This ain't the 60s. But in today's boxing, that's telling you clearly this dude either just is getting in the ring with a bum or he's expecting to win, ain't expecting to take much damage and get right back in there. I mean, also, anytime that a fighter is talking about another fight before he's even had his current fight, well, that should let you know what he thinks of the level of his opposition. Now, this is a little surprising coming out of Tyson Fury, right? Because the last one of the last things we heard from Tyson Fury was that the fight with Deontay Wilder was or should I say the rematch with Deontay Wilder was signed and ready to go for February 22nd. This is according to Tyson Fury. Now, a lot of us out here didn't believe it because we didn't hear Deontay Wilder really much talking it up that much. But this was according to Tyson Fury. So how is it that Deontay Wilder is signed to fight you in February and you talking about taking a fight in December? Now, we all know that after a fight, that fighters have a grace period in which they cannot fight. And uh, it's usually about, what, three months or so. And. They can't fight during that time because they just got out of a fight. I think it's even six. It could be six months. I don't know. I think it's three months, though. And they can't fight during that time. Not to mention a fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder would need some time for building and for promotion. This is a huge fight. And I'm sure they they want to capitalize off of this rematch. So we got to be talking well beyond February, right? I mean, according to the news that's out, they're looking at talking about May or June now. That would possibly be the earliest in which these two could possibly get it on if they get it on. There's also talks about this can be good news for Dillian White. Dillian White, we all know, is the WBC. Well, was the WBC mandatory. He He's currently suspended due to uh, adverse findings in his uh, last drug test for his last fight. And the WBC now has him on suspension. But before he was suspended in his victory over Oscar Rivas, which could and should be overturned, that victory named him the mandatory. So I'm wondering, though, in Dillian White's case, let's just say, you know, after this investigation is complete and the WBC finds wrongdoing done here. And they say, well, you know, given that the fight with Oscar Rivas was overturned or, you know, or for whatever reason that fight gets overturned, they can say now that's not classified as a win. So what that means, you're not classified as the mandatory. That is a very real possibility, fight fans. So the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, we don't know what may happen with the Dillian White situation. Now, Deontay Wilder last fought a mandatory fight in May of this year where he fought Dominique Brazil, May 18th, right? Now, usually the WBC gives their champions a year or so to make another mandatory defense. Now, in some cases, the WBC, when they usually mess up and they tell some up and coming contenders that we're going to give you a shot and they may tell this to more than one guy. Then in some cases, such as what Jamel Charlo did, amongst other fighters, they may give you two back to back mandatories. But in Deontay Wilder's case, I don't see that happening, given that he has some monumental fights in front of him. And I'm sure the WBC would love to have those fights sooner rather than later. You know what I mean?
So my thing is, around May of next year, it could be possibly time for Deontay Wilder to defend his mandatory again if there is a mandatory. It will be time for that. But let's just say this is real talk and Tyson Fury says, you know what, I'm ready now. Do we think that the WBC is going to make a mandatory fight for Deontay Wilder if Tyson Fury really is ready by May of next year? And my, my deal is if they give him this fight at the end of the year, there ain't no reason why he should be needing another tune-up. He's fought in America. He's fought two bums here in America. Then he'll probably take another bum in the UK. At that point, there ain't no reason why he shouldn't be getting in a fight with Deontay Wilder. But we know what this is all about. This is all scary type stuff, man. This is all Tyson Fury running around being a fraud right now, man. That's what this is about. We know Tyson Fury signed this deal with ESPN. I mean, if I recall correctly, I think it was a six fight deal, right? Or something somewhere along there. And they supposedly giving him a hundred million. Remember what well, my deal is? When is he going to earn any of this so-called hundred million? Because uh, let's see, Tom Schwartz, uh, now Otto Wallen and some probably tomato can over in the UK. Well, that's three fights right there. And we all know the Tom Schwartz fight did piss poor here in Las Vegas. When it comes to ticket sales, when it comes to prestige, when it comes to anything about that fight, it was piss poor. So, I mean, when are they going to recoup some of their money? Are they sit, literally sitting back trying to have Fury take fight after fight and sell it upon the premise of facing Wilder in the future? They think that's a winning formula? Clearly, somebody on the ESPN side, whether it even be top ranks Bob Arum or, or Frank Warren or ESPN, somebody over there believes that what Tyson Fury is doing by fighting these tomato cans and, 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 and repeatedly saying Deontay Wilder's name, they think that this is a winning formula because they allowing this dude to fight bum after bum. It ain't moving the needle one bit on Tyson Fury here in America. So I don't know. But there's some, there's, some, there's some straight up liar type stuff, man. Tyson Fury told everybody that the fight was signed for February 22nd. That is a bold faced lie. And it makes people question who you are, Tyson Fury. Especially some of us like myself who have taken up for Tyson Fury on many occasions. While he was going through his whole, you know, uh, uh, investigation and all of that. I was the guy here. Propping him up, saying he's still the lineal. You know, they doing him wrong. They dragging him through the mud. No one is giving him a resolution. This is all crap. Some of us fought for Tyson. Just for Tyson to come back, give us a great fight with Deontay Wilder, but fight a bunch of circus acts. And then run around and say he's the lineal. So I don't know what's up with this, man. But this is the news that's coming out. Tyson Fury is now talking about a third fight in December in the UK. You know, I'm just like, whatever, man. I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm almost stopped paying Tyson Fury any attention. Until we get that Wilder fight, I ain't got much need to talk about him, especially talking about no Otto Wallen and no UK tomato can fight. I got no reason to speak on the man. I don't care about all this stupid, goofy stuff he, stay in, in, he, he says in the media. I don't care about that stuff. His stupid, goofy outfits that he wears. I don't know who's the worst dresser between him or Showtime Reverend Porter. I don't know. But at the end of the day, the man need to fight Wilder. Stop this BS. No one is buying into it. And ESPN, like, y'all cool. Y'all are the worldwide leader in sports. And y'all are cool with this. I'm starting to think that there's an effort underway to undermine boxing. Better yet, prop it up. I'm starting to think that there's an effort to undermine the sport. But I don't want to feed too much into it. And I'm going to leave it right there for now. I catch y'all later on tonight on We Talking Boxing where we will talk more about this, such a, this, up, this subject right here, man, because this is crazy. Matter of fact, I don't know if I will or not. I don't even like talking about Tyson Fury no more, so it's hard to call, but we'll see. So to the next video, Main Man, Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man, Made Man Boxing Forum, Instagram, Main Man, Made Man. Tyson Fury, the mythical lineal champion that doesn't fight like one. Fights circus acts after circus act after circus act and keeps Deontay Wilder's name in his mouth, but won't make a fight. And now telling us a bag of lies. Boy, Tyson, how low can you go?
to the next video. Peace out.